Chilly, like our weather. That's how you might describe the relationship between the city of Milwaukee and the Walker administration the last eight years. It's not terribly surprising since the mayor of Milwaukee, Tom Barrett, ran against Scott Walker twice during that time. Those hard-fought campaigns left a mark, and while the governor did push for a new arena in downtown Milwaukee, the city feels like it's mostly been on the short end of the stick when it comes to policy emanating from Madison. An example, the decision to end the city's residency requirement, which has resulted in thousands of city employees moving out of Milwaukee. That's why probably no one is happier about Tony Evers' victory than city officials. One insider told me last week that at the very least, they know Milwaukee's phone calls will get returned, and they're encouraged by the Milwaukee representation on the Evers transition team. Evers has met with Mayor Barrett and will attend a mayoral fundraiser in Milwaukee this week. But while Milwaukee officials are optimistic, they're also realistic. Evers will have the tricky job of striking just the right balance in his relationship with the state's largest city. Yes, he owes his victory in part to a strong performance in Milwaukee. And yes, it remains key to the state's economic success. But other parts of Wisconsin feel less warmly about Milwaukee, something Evers no doubt heard on the campaign trail. Perhaps just as important, Republicans will still control the legislature next year. And there, the prospects of a January thaw in feelings toward Milwaukee seem far less likely. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.